Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna be going over modulation and modulation is the effect of things over time and it's these three sections, the envelope generators, our LFO generators and our modulation matrix, right? So all these kind of talk to each other. Well, well the, the, the envelope, it talks to this and the LFO talks to this. Um, and this is like the main kind of control matrix. So when you think of a matrix, don't, don't get scared. It's pretty simple. So we have our init patch here. I'm gonna load up a vintage saw and uh, yeah, we'll just click on the amplifier envelope. And this is the amplitude of a signal. And with that, you know, Press a, you press a key, it's instantly on. Press a key, it's instantly off. Uh, we can adjust the attack, so it's a slowly build up. Right? Uh, we can adjust the release, so it slowly, you know, builds down. And we can do other fun things, like change the level of the sustain. So sustain is that. You can get a punchy thing, and it's just an, uh, an ADSR envelope. Uh, you can do other fun things, like you can change the curve. So it's not as linear as it would be. And uh, with the release, you can have a smooth curve release. Right, which is excellent for pads, and the amount is the amount uh, you're you got going on here. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, um, one, two, three, four, five, six envelopes that you can map to anything. Uh, over here we have our, L our LFOs. We have four LFOs that are synced globally and uh, these two LFOs that can be synced to a voice. So let me give you an example here. I'll give you an example of our envelope first. So I'm gonna select our first envelope here. I'm going to have a filter. I'm actually gonna have this set to filter one. Remember that? All right, so we have that. So I'm gonna set the source. I want our envelope one to adjust the cutoff of the filter. So we go source, envelope generator, envelope one, bam. And I want it to affect the destination. Destination is our filter. I am I blind? Oh, filters. Yes, there we go. Filter cutoff, right? Uh, so we'll do some adjustments with our level here. Nothing going on yet. We need to actually adjust the range. So I'm going to go max range, max amount. and closing pretty quickly and that's what the envelope is doing and uh, yeah that's basically what it's doing I can do other fun things like um, adjust the delay which is pretty fun I can even make it go up you get some 80s style going on, and that's all well and fun. And we can adjust the, the range here so nothing happens. Uh, you can set the control so we can we can control uh, the range of our modulation uh, from, I guess, an audio input, um, uh, our aftertouch. So we'll do that. It actually makes a lot more sense on. An LFO. So yeah, we'll just leave that. And that is our, our envelope. So maybe I want a cycle, an, an LFO to adjust our wibbly wobbly thing type here. So I'll, su I'll select a sign, simple sign, and this is LFO1. So I'll go here and I'll select LFO1. I want this to affect uh, filter 1. Select the range. All right, and that's pretty. That's pretty neat. And that's basically what a filter does. And we can adjust the speed. Yeah, 
a really, really slow, uh, gentle LFO. For like, you know, different pads and stuff like that. Uh, another interesting thing we can do is select another wave. Here, I'll just turn that off. So we can select other waves and it kind of morphs it together. And this is our morph area, so it kind of looks like that. And we can combine a lot of different LFOs to get some interesting modulations. And that's all fun. So we have additive, and we, we can kind of flip them up. I actually select two sine. I'll select a sine and a pulse wave. All right, so what this does is it, it'll change the way that the two um, uh, uh, shapes are combined. Oh wait, this way. Uh, and we can change it then, so it kind of does that. <laughs> kind of splits it up and down the middle and all that. So this is time morph, so this will slowly um, change between a square and a sine wave over time. So we, we have, uh, we can modulate the mix between the square and the sine modulation, which in turn affects another modulation. It gets really confusing. And you can get some really interesting things like that. So what I'll do is I will turn that off and I will select a saw because this one you can really hear what's going on. We can sync these. So right now it's free running. And that's all well and good, but say if we oops, say if we wanted it to be synced sixteenths, or if we want it to be synced on eighths, and you can get some really neat sort of things with that. So the phase, the phase. So right now, when it's free the phase is uh the, the lfo is free running but if we select the phase at like zero or you know 45 or 360 it will restart at the same the same time so i guess right at the beginning here every time we re-trigger right if it's free and we keep on pressing buttons it is free running but if we have it set here it's always it always resets so this would be useful for pads like uh, really slow pads if you wanted to reset the, the the phase of the LFO constantly you get the idea uh, you can also offset and we can have a fade in so you can really hear that so there's a fade in between the intensity, right? So that's all well and good. Uh, curves. Curves. I like curves. Um, you can have none selected, but you can have uh, different ways the modulation affects it. So right now, uh, it would be a linear curve. So up and down in equal parts. Uh, unipolar linear plus makes it so it doesn't go low it doesn't go below a certain threshold <laughs> kind of hard to explain but the the lfo kind of gets shifted up and it doesn't make things go down makes them go up only or down only and it's the way the modulation works and there's a lot of uh different kind of aspects um makes it you know slower faster uh makes it uh, more, uh, you know, zero point centric, less zero point centric, uh, but you don't really need to worry about that. Starting out, uh, but different curves have a different kind of character, uh, and you can even uh, modulate LFO speed 
with another LFO. You can get in some really interesting things like that. Really interesting modulations. Stack them up, have fun, and uh, get things rolling. Um, yeah, and again, there's two pages. So you can create really kind of complex uh, apparatuses. Uh, and yeah, for yeah, for all that, you can even have it set up so it uh, different oscillators. You can have an, an oscillator modulate the cutoff or the, the resonance and you get some really interesting sounds. Um, and you can, you know, modulate all of your uh, wave shaping capabilities. And yeah, you can get really deep and it's pretty fun. And uh, yeah, we'll be back with some more stuff a little bit later. All right.